Dave here with Half Dozen Customs. Uh, back on the 49 this evening. Uh, what I'm going to look into, uh, I know last night we had talked about um, putting the door back on and checking that lower panel. Um, but I, I have this piece that I have to replace here in the door jam. Uh, I think I'm going to replace that before I take the door off because um, just in hopes that like, you know, I put that door on again, we get the lower door skin on um, and, you know, I don't have to keep putting the door on and off, on and off, on and off. I know that I might have to take the door back off again to finish the door skin and I can do it then, but I'm just going to look into it now see what I got to do uh, my buddy sent me a picture of, of what it looks like uh, when somebody installed the kit um, it doesn't really show a whole lot but it gives me an idea so uh, I'm gonna get this grind it up cleaned up we're gonna mark it out I'm gonna cut it um, and kind of see what's behind here cuz um, when I reach my hand in here the door frame is there so I don't know if the door frame I think the door frames open on this end um, but we're gonna we're gonna cut it open and see what's going on here so so let's see So I gotta, get, gotta grind it up down to bare metal. Um, you know, this this picture that he sent me kind of shows, you know, I was kind of messing with this last night and taking a look at it up against the door. Um, so, it looks like he cut the hole out slip this thing in through the back and then this gets pinned to that uh, with the little door stop here on, on this edge so um, you know I wasn't sure yesterday which way this went um, so that picture showed me which way it went um, and then you know it looked like the cutout like you couldn't see this in the in the photo that he sent me um, but you could see this. So it, it looks like they just use this as a, as a marker plate and they cut it out and they slip this in the back somehow and welded it in. And then this got put over the top of it. I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. It was kind of a, a, a vague, very vague picture, but it was better than nothing because I didn't have any idea what to go off of. So it looks like, uh, and this this what they gave us is, is way better constructed. Um, looks like it's got a good lip uh, that'll sit behind here. Uh, I should be able to maybe drill a couple holes in here, uh, get some tack welds in it. Um, this just has two little pieces of metal that were these tabs, and those tabs broke off. Um, so 
yeah, I don't, this seems like a, a way better construction. So now let's see if we can get this in there and make it fit. Just to be safe, um, my, my buddy that owns this truck actually recommended this. Um, so tie a cable to it so you don't drop it in there and lose it. That was a good idea. So I'm going to use it. super simple um, a lot simpler than than I expected uh, I thought that this was uh, gonna gonna be a, a chore of a job and I mean it's pretty simple you know I I thought I thought this myself and I had mentioned it to my buddy that owns a truck that they gave us this as a template that this wasn't actually a piece that you use and he said, that's a great idea, I like that idea, and it's a good possibility that that's what it was for. And it's exactly what it was for. It was just a template. So kudos to, to whoever makes this kit. Um, I, don't know, I don't know where he got it, but you know, if you ever watch this video, kudos to you. So I'm going to drill a couple of holes in here so that I can spot weld. Um, I'll probably just do three. Um, and then I'm going to probably do three in here as well um, in this piece so that I can spot weld it to this. So and we'll, we'll get, I guess we'll put this piece in. I mean it was that easy. I might as well weld it up and put it in. Get a drill bit and some drill. A drill and some drill bit. Just one drill bit, I guess. I'm just going to go with this size. Um, I have my glasses on. Yeah, I can't read that without my glasses.
Hmm. Just trying to get back there and clean the burrs from the drill bit off so that it sits flat on the end. I just want to see how much of uh, Yeah, we're good. The, the top one, I'm probably three quarters of the hole I can hit. Uh, the bottom two are probably a quarter. on there super straight it's a little little tighter on this side than this side but as long as I can catch the edge of it and give it something uh, you know I'm okay with that so I'm gonna go over the vise real quick poke a few holes in this side Let's, uh, let's get the, the welder fired up. <sighs> Snap some pictures of this. Uh, Since I started doing this video and I've gotten, gotten kind of slacking. You ain't been slack at all. I'm taking photos. Okay, I got this, uh, oh, if you guys didn't notice, I, I cut my hairs off. Winter's over, it's getting too hot outside. I mean, it's nice outside right now, but you get out there, you start doing some yard work with that long hair. Start uh start getting hot, start sweating, overheating, especially with wearing a hat. You're my only friend on this island. <laughs> um, I wear a hat everywhere I go, so. Will Johnny take me to the prom? <laughs> um. Ooh. Ooh. The headband's cold now. Uh, I got it set on, on my highest setting, uh, and I got the wire speed set at four. Uh, try and burn this in good, good and hot, because this piece is going to take a 
the, the brunt of the door opening. Um, this is what stops the door from opening too far. Um, so, you know, you can try and be in care as careful as you can with it, but, you know, chances are wind's going to catch it or kids are going to, you know, open the door too far. So this, this is going to take, like, a, a good brunt of force. Um, and being door jam, I, you know, I have to grind it clean. I can't leave the weld, you know, for strength. So I need to burn this in. Um, good and hot. So I got the welder turned up as hot as it goes. Uh, I got the wire speed set low um, So that way I can I can get a nice good hot weld so checked in place um, I don't think she's coming back out so I'm going to remove um, a safety strap and I, I'm going to I'm going to burn this thing in hot I'm not going to do the little pss, pss and cooling I, I'm just going to I'm going to let her roll I want this to be strong, so... Touch it. Ow. Yeah, man, that, that gave me a good jolt. And then I go and burn myself after that. I, put, I, I ordered some new, some new welding gloves. They're, they're gloves like these, but they're for welding. Um, I hate these things because it's so hard to close your hand and you can't feel nothing through them. So that's why I always wear these and, and just, you know, they just burn right through them. Um, so uh, I found a set by uh, Lincoln, Lincoln Electric um, that are just like these, but they're welding gloves. So I'm excited to get those. They're only 20 bucks on Amazon. So. sitting on top of it. I don't know if it's, if it's a rust behind it that's messing with it, but... Man, this is... I'm 
going to try turning it down a little. Being stupid. Stupid as stupid does. turn down the welder a little bit. I I don't know what it was doing or why it was doing that. But you can hear it as soon as I as soon as I turned down the welder it started welding fine. So okay, it's uh no it's welded in good. Uh, it's not as hot as I originally planned. You know, I got the bottom in nice and hot, and the top, I got about half of it in nice and hot. Uh, and then it, it started welding funny. So, um, you know, the, the back side, I mean, it's it's good and it's welded. Uh, it's just not, not as hot as it, I wanted it. I, I wanted to try and get like super deep penetration on it. So that I was hitting that 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 plate behind it, um, which I'm sure the top and the bottom, absolutely, I hit that plate behind it. Um, this one here, it's a good hot weld, but whether or not I hit that plate behind it, I don't know. But that's also why I had the spot welds in there too, so I know those spot welds hit that plate. Um, so we should be, you know, we should be good there. I have a new grinding disc. I got some 36, good rough, cut it down fast. Like I said, being the door jam, it's going to be seen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grind it as flat as possible. Um, I would like to. I know this corner here is a little, a little low. Um, I couldn't. I tried to pry on it to get it out. I couldn't. I couldn't get it to come out. So it is going to get a, a little skim coat around here. But I want the the littlest, slightest skim coat because I I know that I know that that area is going to get hammered. Um, I I know it's going to get jarred. It's going to get pulled on. It's going to move. So the least amount of bondo I can have around this thing, the better. Okay, so um, we got all that. It's welded in, it looks good. Um, like I said, I'm a little low in that corner, but I think we'll be okay with a little, uh, you know, a little filler up there. Uh, the rest of it's nice and flat, like primable. So, you know, I'll put a little swipe there when it comes time for body work, uh, and the rest of it will just get um, some primer on it. Um, now, there, there was, this other one and, and show you guys so I, I think that so they have for so there's on this back side here there's you know a bend over and a lip 
um, and that actually went in up against like the inside of the door frame. Um, and they, these things are they're kind of weird. They have this like it's like this twisted cardboard rope that goes all the way around on the inside. Um, and I believe that that's what they used to staple uh, the material to for like the headliner and stuff. Um, and, and it goes all the way around it. And I, I was trying to, was trying to leave it in there. Uh, for one, it kind of looks cool. Um, you know, because it's got this really cool twist to it that goes all the way around. And it's all there, it's all intact. Um, but I think that they intended for you to go on the inside underneath that cardboard roll and drill some holes and you spot weld in through there too. Maybe that's what they intended, maybe not, I don't know. Um, but I got the spot welds along the, the edge that's going to that same frame piece that they wanted you to spot weld in on the inside. Um, or that I think that maybe they, that's what they wanted. Um, you know, I don't know what other people are thinking when they build this stuff, uh, but, you know, I guess if I was, if that rope wasn't in there, I'd be drilling a hole, I'd be drilling a few holes in there and welding it. Um, you know, if for some odd reason that rope comes out of there, um, I'll drill some holes in there and I'll throw some spot welds in there. Um, but as of right now, I think I think it's good. Well, actually, I think it's great. I think it's better than what was there from 1949. Um, you know, I showed you that piece. It, you know, it was just two little pieces of metal back there that was spot welded to it. That was it. Now you have, you have this big steel structure that, that's behind there that goes farther than the cut. You know, you've seen I had to drop it in and pull it up and kind of slide it in place. So even if it's pulling, you know, from when you open the door, when it pulls on that, it's not just pulling on my weld because that, that steel actually went behind it and it's up above and below and around my cut. So, when it's pulling, it's not pulling on my weld, it's pulling above it and below it. So, um, so I think we're good. I think it's stronger than it was originally. I think whoever designed these replacement pieces um, did a really well job designing them. Like I said, kudos to whoever that was. So, um, I'm very impressed with it. I think it's strong. I think we're good to go. So. Um, now tomorrow I'll I'll come out here and and we'll rehang that door and we'll get that all adjusted um, and we'll go from there. I think tomorrow's project is going to be it's kind of going to be like a two-parter. It's going to be between that lower door skin and this rocker. So um, you know I got to get this rocker welded in solid. I got to get that skin welded in. But because they butt up against each other, um, you know, they're, they're in there. This is just tacked in there. Um, that's not tacked in yet, but I need to be able to kind of make some adjustments together between the two of them to get that gap right on the bottom. Um, and like I said, I have a feeling that this corner, like, I mean, it'll probably go a little farther than that, but like the back six inches of this corner were touching with the, the door before I cut the skin off. Um, so this door opening is just not correct at all. So, um, like I said, I don't know if that's from 1949. I don't know if it's from the accident. I know this thing was in an accident. So uh, something was off, something wasn't right. I'm making it right and I'm doing whatever I gotta do to make it right. So um, if I gotta do like what I did up in the corner here, once I get the skin on and it's welded and everything's ground down and it's nice and pretty, if I got to come back and, and grind down that bottom edge 
half half of the door and weld it back up and that's that's what I'll do so um, I'm hoping that I don't have to do that because it's a nice brand new piece but I gotta do whatever I gotta do to make it fit so um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video tonight uh, there was a cool little piece that you got to see from start to finish all in one video so have a good night everybody I'm out